Stuart Haas Racing, the situation appears to be less than ideal right now, and one major reason for this is the driver lineup for 2023. Tony wanted to go with Ryan Priest instead of Cole Custer, who hasn't been able to perform nicely in the 2022 season, while Haas wanted to continue with Custer and give him one more chance in 2023. Ultimately, Tony won, and this is something that sparked huge debates between Haas, Custer's dad, who is a director at SHR, and Tony, who has an extraordinary talent for finding drivers that are meant to drive in NASCAR. So what is this situation all about? And could it be that SHR made the wrong move? Lastly, how does their move reflect on the decision that JGR made, which is an indigo copy of the SHR one? Cole Custer's 2022 season was a disaster, and despite having his father and the co-owner of the team he drove for, Gene Haas, on his side, it wasn't enough, and he will move to the Xfinity series next season. In his place, Ryan Priest will try to bring the glory back to the team, but this decision hasn't gone without arguments. Previously, we talked about a conflict that happened between Gene Haas and Tony Stewart, and that revolved around Ryan Priest, but it wasn't about replacing Cole Custer, but rather Kevin Harvick. Harvick is in his 46th year of age, and he doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon, but back then, Tony wanted to replace him with Ryan Priest, believing that he would bring a lot more experience and knowledge to the team. That battle has been won by Haas, who backed Harvick to be his choice and to remain on the team as the starting driver. Just a few months ago, there was discussion about whether Priest should replace yet another driver in SHR, this time for Cole Custer. Cole's season hasn't been impressive at all. And while Gene Haas believes that he would have amazing results next year, Tony Stewart doesn't have the time to wait and has called upon his talents to pick a driver to replace Custer in 2023. Stewart talked about Ryan Priest and how he has developed enough to be the starting driver for SHR from 2023 on, adding, Ryan Priest has been a real asset to our team this year as we've developed the next-gen car. The time and effort he's put into our program combined with his real-world racing experience earned him this opportunity. At the end of the 2021 season, Priest chose the reserve driver role with SHR, hoping that he'll have a chance of suiting up for the team as the starting driver anytime soon. As things stood, he wanted to follow the path that Alex Bowman followed, as Alex is currently driving the number 48 Toyota at Hendrick Motorsports. Priest did have a lot of hope that he will have the chance of suiting up for a Cup Series race when one would open itself. As things stood back then, Harvick was supposed to be replaced by Priest because Gene Haas said that he had a conversation with Kevin Harvick, who said that his intentions were to retire at the end of the 2023 season. On top of that, Eric Amirola also announced that he'll retire at the end of the 2022 season, but then changed his mind and opted for at least one more season in the Cup Series. With all of these factors combined in, Priest's chances became thinner and thinner, and he had to wait for a conflict and a bad performance out of Custer just so that he could receive his full-time racing seat in the Cup Series. Tony Stewart was adamant that Priest's place was in the Cup Series as a starting driver for SHR, replacing Custer, while Haas didn't want to hear about it and thought that Custer had at least one more season in him to prove that he is made out of NASCAR material. Nevertheless, the situation unfolded down as it did, with Priest saying, this is the opportunity I've been working for. Nothing was guaranteed at the start of this year, but I felt like if I put in the time, whether it was in a race or in a simulator, that SHR was the place for me. It's a company built by racers, for racers, and it's exactly where I want to be. But what seems to be the issue with the arrival of Priest and SHR? It seems like the fans aren't very happy with bringing drivers from the Xfinity series directly to the Cup series, due to the fact that they are still in the learning process. However, SHR is a team that's known to bring drivers directly from the Xfinity Series to the Cup Series, which could be a tendency that will not turn out well for them. Some of the fans' opinion on this situation are, I've always felt like they sometimes jump these Xfinity drivers up to the Cup Series too soon, and unfortunately Cole Custer was one of them. And there's a slew of others as well. I am impressed with drivers who are willing to take a step back and rehome their craft. Now, with this being said, only time will tell whether the team did the right thing by signing Priest as the replacement for Custer. One couldn't help but wonder whether the team did the same mistake with Custer signing him way too early in the Cup Series, and then not allowing him enough time to show what he can do, which is why he was sacked by the team. However, the replacement is following the same pattern, and it seems like many believe Priest will suffer the same fate that Custer has suffered from. However, it goes without saying that Priest has a bit of experience when it comes to racing in the Cup Series, as he's made a couple of appearances in this year's season, driving the number 15 Ford Mustang for Rick Ware Racing. While he hasn't been very impressive in these races, with his best finish being 25th during the Duramax Dry Dean 400 at Dover Motorsport Speedway, it's still better than sitting out a full season and not getting a sniff out of the Cup Series experience. True, Priest has been a good driver in the Xfinity Series, completing 13 races along with the Camping World Truck Series, including his first win of the season in the Truck Series race at Nashville Super Speedway. 
However, this is far from what Priest is going to experience in the Cup series, and time will tell whether Priest made a bad decision or not. Why would promoting a driver directly from the Xfinity series to the Cup series reflect badly on another team, such as JGR? Because they did the same thing, as Ty Gibbs will replace Bush starting next season. Ty is only 20 years old, and on top of that, he has to deal with his father's death and with being the most notorious and reckless driver as of now in the Xfinity series. The question has to be asked, are Ty and Priest ready for the challenge of being full-time NASCAR racing drivers? The experience is not there, that is for sure. True, they had the chance to understand how the Cup Series worked by racing for different teams on multiple occasions, but that can barely cover everything that you need to know when it comes to being a full-time driver on the team. As for Ty, it's evident that he will have it a bit easier due to the fact that his grandfather is the owner of the team, and the challenges he's going to face aren't going to be as big as the ones Priest will face in SHR. After all, Priest does have a lot to prove to the other owner of the team, Gene Haas. Remember, Gene is the one that wanted Custer to stay on the team, and earlier this season, Gene was the one that wanted Harvick to stay rather than put Priest in that place. So, the 32-year-old will have a very difficult mission of impressing Gene, and while Tony has always been amazing when it comes to finding talents that are NASCAR-bound, this could be a difficult challenge, even for him. The first race that Priest will be seen in action in the preseason at the Bush Light Clash at the Coliseum and although this race won't have a big impact in how Priest will perform in the future, first impressions matter, and that's what Priest should aim at. Haas said that he believes in Tony and his ability to find good drivers, but entering a conflict just because of a driver is never a good thing to happen to the team. So with that being said, what do you think about Priest replacing Custer in the Cup Series? Do you think that Priest and Ty Gibbs will lose themselves in the challenge of racing in the most elite competition in NASCAR? Let us know in the comments below.